the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> Rebel <laughs> Wilson is committed to losing weight. She's lost a ton of weight, and people are mad at her. Are they really? Yeah, they're mad at her. Because she's they like her being big. They like her being big because she's big, and I'm big, and everyone's big, and it's okay to be big. And I heard it's healthy to be big. And so, like, people are criticizing her for losing weight. Oh, they're come criti on. criticizing Adele as well. Oh, really? Yeah, they said Adele, they, they're angry that Adele lost weight because they love the fact that she was this huge musical superstar oh, and she was obese. Yeah. And so she wanted to take care of her health. She's trying to be healthy. And live a like, little longer and then... You're, you're turning on us. Well, she became a role model for certain people, I guess. And they... <laughs> Good. <laughs> right? Be a role model for you to get healthy. We can all get healthy. Yeah, Just come stay on. stay away from Tom's bread. Eat only meat. <laughs> Just don't eat it all the time. You just yes. don't eat this all the time. Yes. Well, I didn't gain any weight this weekend. Yeah. I didn't gain any weight. I ate all that shit. And then uh, I fasted Sunday night uh -huh. until uh, Monday. I went to yoga Monday morning. Didn't eat um, till right before my first podcast. And uh, I didn't gain any weight at all. That's great. Yeah, you, but you, it's a Moderation, cumulative. moderation. It's, it's eating like shit over, a, but what was interesting was the pains. Back right. pain, knee pain. What is that? It's inflammation. It's inflammation. Right. Your, your body does not want to have to process all that stuff. And they think that maybe the root for many people of a lot of causes uh, of pain and discomfort is just inflammation, heavy diet. Right. Sugar. Right. Sugar is the big one. So I if you get all of that out of your system, your body can, what, go to work on the stuff it has to go to work on? Like, yeah, you get all that shit out of your system and your body doesn't experience inflammation from your food. Right. And if you're eating food that, like, you know, grass-fed beef, you mm -hmm. know, or in my case, elk, you know, or, yeah, I mean, I'm sure vegetables are not bad for you. I just did it to try to find what, so I just tr did it to try to find out what it's like to only eat meat. Right. When you have no carbohydrates, one of the things that's most amazing is that there's no crashing. You would eat, and you don't feel any different after you ate other than the fact that you don't feel hungry. Right. Like, you don't crash. Right. There's no ups and downs and peaks and valleys. My energy levels were amazing. Really? Had, had How extra quickly? energy. How quickly? Two weeks in. Two weeks Two in. weeks in, I noticed I felt amazing. Really? And I was shedding weight. I was sh shedding a lot of weight. I think it was like seven pounds down two weeks in. Jeez. Now I'm 12 pounds down, 12-ish, something like that. I was 193 this morning. I was weighing about 205 before I started this diet. Really? Yeah. Man, oh, man. I feel a lot better. Like a lot better. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what would you what would you recommend? Would you recommend people just do that? Or do you think you moderate I think for that, people who have that? an autoimmune disorder, there are I do believe there are certain people that have an adverse reaction to some plants. Right. Some foods. That's what an elimination diet is all about. It's like trying to find out what are the things that bother you. Yeah. What it, but for me it's like what I did is I just took a lot of multivitamins. I took a, a bunch of different vitamins and nutrients and supplements mm -hmm. on top of this carnivore diet. So I'm only eating meat, but then I'm taking all the essential vitamins and amino acids and I'm also taking fish oil so i'm i'm right. covering all my nutritional basis bases right but i'm not doing it with food i'm not doing it with plants i'm only eating grass-fed meat and then uh -huh. i'm or or uh elk and then on top of that I'm, I'm taking in fat from like bacon like bacon i needed fat because yeah. elk in particular is very lean, very lean if yeah. i'm only eating elk if I eat grass-fed beef, I'm fine. But it, with things like elk, you really do need some extra sources if of If you don't have fat, would you, would you start to feel bad? Yeah, your body doesn't like it. No. Yeah, your body does not want a low-fat diet with low carbohydrates. It's, there's a thing called rabbit starvation. Have you ever heard of that? No. People got that in Antarctica. I think it was Antarctica. In the cold, cold climates where they were uh, shooting rabbits and eating rabbits, and they were literally starving to death even though they're eating all these rabbits because the rabbits uh -huh. have no fat on them. So they're only eating this lean uh, protein right. but with no fat at all, and you start feeling like shit. Oh. Different explorers have found that too, that yeah. you know, when they you know, were living in places and trying to eat only the, the foods that they could harvest off the, the land, they're eating animals, uh -huh. like they had to take in fat. If you don't right. take in fat, you feel really bad. Yeah. Yeah. So a little bit, so if you could balance it, so would you say... Maybe 80%. This is what I would say. Try it. Just, right. try, Just try it a carnivore out. diet. Try it straight out. Right. And I think you'll be amazed at how good you feel. Now, here's the thing. Is that a honeymoon thing? Like, 
what is it like if you extend that to 90 days or, um, you know, 365 days? Is yeah. that, you're going to feel like shit eventually? Right. Is it going to start breaking your body down? Right. I don't know. I, I only have experience in 30 days. But in my experience in 30 days, it was enormously beneficial. You did say something in your post about a explosive diarrhea. It needs to have a new name. <laughs> diarrhea is not strong enough for what I was experiencing. For real? Yeah, it was like someone was tapping into uh, like what? an oil like an oil well. Ah, uh, jeez. I have pictures. You want well, some pictures? <laughs> so why was that happening? Um, well, I talked to Dr. Sean Baker. He wrote a book on the carnivore diet. He's a physician that's a carnivore diet advocate. He's been eating this way for two years. Two and, years. Yep. And he seems to think that it has to do with the colon adjusting to the fact your body doesn't have any dietary fiber. So you're not taking in any rice or bread or anything that's going to absorb the water. So your, right. body's, your body's like, what do I do with all this liquid? Uh, it's going out the asshole. Oh. Woo! <laughs> but How long did that last? Around two weeks. Two weeks? Two weeks of rocket fuel coming out of your booty hole. Ah, oh, jeez. But if you get through it, you oh, get boy. through it. And Tom Segura is going through it right now. He is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he sent me a text the other day saying, this diarrhea is astounding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, astonishing. That's what he said, astonishing. <laughs> oh, no. It's not coffee, is it? Because you guys both drink coffee. I'm just asking just a general question. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, so I you guys both could. intake a lot. Bro, it could be right all kinds you. of liquids. Yeah. Whatever uh, kinds of liquids are I coming was, out of your butt, it's not normal. I was really getting excited about trying this. But <laughs> here's the thing. At the end of that, it all goes away. Right. I mean, at the end of two weeks, my body adjusted, and now it's not a problem at all. Really? Yeah, not a problem at all. Now. So what's breakfast? <sighs> Steak. Or eggs. Sometimes, like this morning, it was uh, steak. Uh -huh. Yesterday morning, I ate six eggs. Right. Yeah. Just just woof those down. Mm -hmm. Lunch. I don't eat lunch. Don't eat lunch. Just usually eat two meals a day. Right. And then the second meal is usually steak. No steak. Either elk or or a beef steak. I think I've asked you this before, but when whenever I think about these diet things, I always picture my family looking at me while they're eating pasta or eating. Like, do you feel like an outlier at dinner? With your family or no? They knew what I was doing. Yeah, they made, they'd made fun of me and shit. Right, it's no big deal. <laughs> right. Oh, what are you eating? Steak? You eat steak again? <laughs> right. My kids are hilarious. Yeah, that's what I always. <laughs> my kids mock me too. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, they didn't mind. Yeah. You no, know, no, nobody bothered. My wife didn't care. Everyone knew I was doing it, so right. it, was, it was okay. Right. Yeah. Your wife's not like, come on, have ice cream with us. No. <laughs> no, boy, that'd be a problem if she was. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if it looks so good, like, oh, ice cream looks good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, it was uh, it was an eye opener. But here's the I thing. Would, yeah. I'm sorry. Here's the thing about the, that, that kind of stuff. You kind of have to commit. Right. Like, if you just say, I'm going to try to eat healthier, it's too loosely defined. I know. I know. I was doing the intermittent fasting and lost good amount of weight and then it just kind of like plateaued and i feel like i'd like to be you know like 10 pounds lighter and it's i'm working out i'm doing all that stuff but i feel like it needs something to shock my system to go to it well, nothing will shock your system like this carnivore diet yeah including your butthole but <laughs> you will lose a lot of weight i lost i mean i lost a legitimate 12 pounds of fat Wow. Just fat. My face got thinner. Yeah. Like when I was washing thinner. my face, I would feel, actually it feels a little fatter now because I went through Disneyland. <laughs> Some Disney chunks. Disney I ate ice cream. <laughs> I ate a lot of dessert. And you just um, had bread. I actually, no, not really any fatter, but, yeah. but joking around. Maybe I'm a little swollen. No, you look you look leaner. Well, I was For a, real. I, I was, you know, I was getting fat. I was developing a, a gut. Like we did this weigh-in thing and oh, so many people mocked me. <laughs> I was getting a gut though. My my stomach was like hanging out. Was, yeah. And also when we came in here to uh, do that, I had my, it was December 23rd and mm -hmm. my family was in town and we had eaten like pigs that day. Right. So I was, I <laughs> was bloated. considerably bloated with food as well because <laughs> yeah. it was nighttime. We had a nighttime podcast. It was like ten o'clock or something like that. Right, it's pretty pretty late podcast. Yeah, when we all took our clothes off and got on the scale. <laughs> um, so I knew I was probably going to do the carnivore diet anywhere, but that was like, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's like, go. Set it in my head. Let's right. just do it. Yeah. So knowing that for the month of January, that was all that I was going to eat. Yeah. That's that really helps. 
if you're gonna try to stick to something, mm-hmm. to have like a real solid schedule, like, right. like Sober October is yeah. a, another perfect example for me. Lent. Yeah, when we do Sober October, we have one month, no booze, no pot, no nothing. Yeah. There's something good about there, that, yeah. where you have that month. Because it takes it out, all that kind of mushy brain stuff of, oh, but maybe I'll just, yes. just now, or yeah. we're celebrating. Yeah, we need a certain amount of rigidity occasionally. Yeah. And that's how you get shit done. Yeah. And uh, I mean, even if you are like writing, if you said, I am going to write every day for the month of February. Yeah. You know, every day. Yeah. Like there's something to that. It's like, the routine. Yeah. So something really beneficial. I'm going to write for one half an hour every day. If you do that, yeah. you get things done. It's and really true. If you just decide, I'm going to go on a carnivore diet for the next 30 days starting right now. Yeah. And just count down on your calendar 30 days from now. You'll fucking lose weight and you'll feel amazing. Yeah. I'm I just don't do know it. if it's a way to eat all the time. No, that's the thing. It's like, it seems like an extreme thing that I would not be yeah. willing to maintain. Well, you're the bread master. Well, that's the thing. You're the sultan of sourdough. That's why I want balance. I'm always searching yeah. for the right balance. I think a great move is six days on, one day off. That's what I think. Six, Six days, days on a rigid diet, uh-huh. one day where you, you look forward to eating bread and pasta yeah. and drinking whatever you want and you know having ice cream and one day. 